Okay, this is George Rockall Smith. His channel's pretty good. I really like his stuff. But like typical guys, he could not deal with the truth. This is, this is him talking about Star Wars. Franchise that choked. Big Blue with Jean Reno. Alas, Jean tricked me, and here we are. Da, da, da. What do you mean copyright claim? It was two notes. It surprised me because it seems like such a good example of both production design failure and leadership failure. And I say this because the rise of Skywalker is rushed narratively and seems to have been rushed in terms of production. And you see, now this is my problem with, uh, <laughs> with George. Of course, he goes on for production. And he goes, uh, the problem is that a feminist got a hold of Star Wars and made it into crapping all over the male fandom, which is the, the majority of the fandom is male. And that's its purpose. And Kathleen Kennedy, Kennedy enjoyed doing it. And this guy is going on about this kind of nonsense. Now let's take a look at this. You will see passing the buck here. The name that often pops up is that of Kathleen Kennedy. She's the Disney person, the Lucasfilm president, the producer of the latest incarnation of Star Wars, commander of the British Empire. Yes, really. She's often blamed for Star Wars not being any good for many subjective reasons. She's also often seen, or at least portrayed, as the mastermind of the new franchise, or the closest thing to that, if there is one. However, both The Force Awakens and The Rise of Skywalker were produced by, among others, Kennedy and Abrams. Abrams' company, Bad Robot, co-produced these two films with Lucasfilm a.k.a. Disney. It's a long process, but we always look for that core group to kind of arrive at a solidarity in a decision. And we got to that on this pretty quickly. It's very difficult, usually, to really ascertain freedoms and responsibilities in such a relationship. A relationship that is always going to be business first. But I think it is unfair to blame Kennedy alone for the franchise losing its narrative momentum. Abrams had some control at least. The extensive reshoots were undertaken at Bad Robots HQ. But honestly, I don't think there's much point in divvying up the blame between these two. When I call this a leadership failure, I'm looking at Disney. Not at its vassal, at Disney. You know, you're right, George. There's no point in divvying up the blame between the two, because really there's only one person to blame. Kathleen Kennedy, she is the progenitor of all of this. Without her, this would not exist. And this is why, George, men pander to women. You know, Disney Corporation is made up of men and women, and they follow their male and female instincts. And when Kathleen Kennedy gave this garbage idea of crapping on the male fandom with feminist Star Wars, the females there backed her because being females, they support females. And they, they're not interested in Star Wars beyond making a buck. And the males pander to women. So they just said, yes, I'll give you whatever you want. You know, and, and Abrams is just a foot soldier for Kennedy. He's the same way. He's a guy. He says, what do you want me to do? I'll do it for you. If Kennedy was a guy, I don't think this would have ever made. Like if a man had shown up with this crap idea, they would have just said, told him to pack his bags. But they didn't, because that's human nature, George. And here you are displaying more human nature by trying to pass the buck. I see this everywhere. Blame everyone else. Well, in the way I suppose people are to blame, but not in the way that you're making it out to be. You know, I mean, this packing, passing the buck business, I mean, it's, it just drives me crazy. George, at, at the very least, usually you're not a part of the problem. You know, in this case, you're part of the problem.
This false narrative of uh, Disney just making bad decisions, like it, it actually hurts. You know, it takes people, distracts people from what's really going on. Guys really know in their hearts what's going on. This woman has contempt for men. She got a hold of the franchise and she spit all over the men with the franchise. And you know what? This woman, Kathleen Kennedy, is going to get paid after this. Even if she leaves, they'll give her a great big bonus. And her reputation may not be entirely destroyed. She'd probably move on to other projects and do it all over again and get paid for it. Mr. Rock All Smith or whatever, if that's your actual name. I mean, come, come on, this is a, you're embarrassing yourself. So enough of this nonsense, okay?